morning, everybody. We are back here at the Oxbow for another Oxbow Archive Revisited. And today we've got some really interesting conditions, as you guys can see. There are these wildfires burning in Alberta, and uh, a lot of that smoke from that far away has made its way over here to New England. And uh, here in Massachusetts, we are feeling the effects, um, which is really, really wild, but it's made these really great conditions to photograph in. I don't want to um, belittle that sort of issue because it's a pretty big issue and I'm sorry for anybody that's experiencing all those wildfires because that is absolutely awful to see but from out here we've got these really odd conditions to be photographing in so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna photograph in it I'm, uh, I'm struggling here. <laughs> I've got this cool little fireplace here. I've got this really great sort of like naked tree that's falling through the scene. You've got these wild gardenias, or gardenias? I think that's how you pronounce it. And you get the river in the background and uh, I'm just having a really hard time because there's this branch from this bush over here that's just kind of creeping into the scene and blocking out part of that tree. Um, this big white sort of half down tree. And um, it's really, really annoying. I, I like the scene, it's just not working very well. And it's one of those times where, you know, I spent the last 20 minutes composing and I don't love it. So um, maybe try to be a little bit more choosy with my images and find something else. In fact, just down off the banking, there are a couple of sleeping bags next to the river and uh, maybe I'll photograph those but uh, just trying to be a little bit more particular with my images and really not trying to take anything if it's not there. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work very well. Um, oh, you know what's kind of interesting though? Is uh, I made this, this dark cloth. It's uh, like a, salmon color on one side and uh, navy blue on the other. I know it probably doesn't look like that because of uh, the current conditions, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's super lightweight, nice and packable. Used it in the rain the other day, kept all the water out. Felt very, very nice. Um, and it's pretty dark in there. We're switching that. I kind of like it, the way that this looks better. Let's see if I can find something here. Grab my backpack. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just about walking around a scene and discovering the composition because when I first came down here, the first thing that caught my eye was that tree, the gardenias, and obviously the fireplace. But now that I've turned back around, it's like that light is just too perfect. I love the sloping of, of the, uh, something just jumped in the water. I get too sidetracked. But I love the sloping of the dirt road here. It just looks really cool. So I'm gonna wait for that perfect light to come through. F32, one second, just smash it. Embrace those shadows too. Uh, Yeah, bro, hey, you lose, bro. <laughs> I got my 1986 Brave Wave on. So the hang loose kind of felt fitting, but now it just feels super white. <laughs> I don't know, this looks good. I might, no, nah, I'm good, I'm gonna take it.
bang. Kevin Harlan, bang. That's how I feel after that shot, I'm pretty stoked. moment I wanted to talk about here so many times I come out here and I'm photographing and I'm always recording because I like to document my process but one of the things that always tends to happen is like I just get bogged down in trying to create the story while the story is taking place rather than sort of letting the story happen and then trying to piece it all together in the editing process so I'm trying to have a little bit more fun with the videos and not really try to tell the story while I'm recording it and let that story just unfold. And if it's no fucking story, who gives a shit? Just kind of have some fun with it. And so far, after that first picture, one down, I feel pretty good. So I have a decent amount of forward facing tilt on the front standard because I want to get the foreground nicely in focus out to about nearly infinity. Um, to be completely honest, I'm a little bit further uh, or a little bit closer than infinity uh, because the mountains, Mount Tom in the background is just so far away and it's also uh, cloaked in that smoky haze. So you're really not going to get a ton of detail out there anyway. So uh, a little forward facing tilt or a pretty decent amount of forward facing tilt in my book. Um, F32 at one eighth of a second. We're waiting for that sun just to hit perfectly. And I'm uh, going to take that shot on Ektar 100 and uh, see what we get. So it really, it's an interesting composition. I really want to try to get uh, that, that smoky haze in the sky. I think it's really unique. Not often does it happen. So I'm trying to capitalize on it when we have it. So see what we get. Just as simple as that. Compose, get your meter reading, take the shot. What else is there to it? All right, that's gonna wrap up our day here at the Oxbow. Fairly successful. Got a couple of shots in on the four x five. I actually was shooting a little bit on the Fuji GSW 690 with uh, some Ilford FP4 uh, as some sort of like, you know, my standard documentary shots, but some behind the scenes stuff. So maybe I'll show, show you guys some of those images as I periodically walk around here. Um, it's just gorgeous out. It's a really, really great day. 
and uh, I hope the images hold up to that. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap up the first video of the summer series here in the Oxbow, or the unofficial start of summer series here in the Oxbow. I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.